we're at a lift station and we're going to pull pumps and check them for uh, well, I've got a pump that has a problem and it is uh, filthy with stuff that don't belong in there and here I'm going to show you now the control panel is pretty basic control panel uh, you can see some fuses there and up here you can see the controls um, this is an HOA switch that's what we call an HOA hand off automatic and then here's the control screen here I'll get in closer for you I hope that's visible um, and that's about as good as it gets uh, then we'll pull the pull the panel door open and look in here um, this is the telemetry that sends the signal to my phone and to anybody else for an alarm and then down here um, I don't know what that is these are the two big breakers uh, this is B for the generator and this is the live power online and then down here these two are the computers that run the pumps and these are VFDs or variable frequency drives this is pump one and pump two and they automatically control the level and start and stop the pumps this here just happens to be a heater that keeps this panel warm during the winter time because in Minnesota things get below zero a lot and these are just control relay fuses and here are breakers down here for the pumps and the control um, for on, on we do it so now I'm gonna set you up now on the uh, truck there we go now I'll get on it we'll start the work Pump number two is the one causing all the problems. It's got some stuff in it, some rags or some stuff, uh, different debris in it that people will put into their toilets and flush them. We have to use a J hook to hook onto the pumps. It's like fishing. There's a rule of thumb that everybody should live by, and this is what they say, if it doesn't come out of you, it shouldn't go in the toilet. Oh, my 
that none of you guys would hand me my my Here's the blockage, and it's a it's an amalgamation of female hygiene products, disinfectant wipes that people are fond of these days, um, here let me show you, here's a sample I have of these, this is why I say if it doesn't come out of you, it doesn't belong in your in your toilet so toilet paper is the only thing that de de degrades nothing else degrades everything else stays like this and turns into a rope you see how that's twisted there that's roping that's what that's called that's called roping and that roping collects into the pump and plugs the pump up if we plug the pump up then the next thing that happens is the line from your house to this pump going backwards and you can see right right there that's a clean out this line that goes back to this guy's house which is your house it backs up and it comes up onto your floor and nobody likes that so let's take a look in here it's hard to see in there, but there's an impeller in there. I'm going to get out a flashlight. 
so we can see uh, there's nothing in there this is nice and clean I pulled it all out this is the base elbow and this sits down on a on, a, on an elbow like elbow macaroni and this rubber seals the pump up so that it can remain in contact and the lift station takes the water from down low in this case it's not a very deep lift but that's why I brought you here um, and it pumps it up high and then it can flow by gravity again so every town in the United States has unless it's a really small town they generally have a gravity flow system so this is what our pump looks like and this is a very small pump this is a three horse hydromatic I can scrape all this stuff off of there and that's just fats oil and grease it's nothing icky um, and we can put it right back down in there now and get this lift station working we'll go on to the next one Here's another lift station look at a control panel and this shows the level of the tank is at 2.4 feet and then the lead pump comes on at at two foot or the lead comes on at three foot I'm sorry and then the lag pump comes on at three five and then the alarm sounds at four feet so this shows the status if I go up here I can go down to pump pump status and I can see that pump one right now is running at 36 gallons a minute and these reminding these are small three horse uh, grinder pumps that are made to grind material up so they don't they don't pump as fast as a regular impeller pump but what they do is they have more pressure so they can get it further <laughs> 